Democrats' latest plan to beat President Trump make the good news bad. Looks like it's failing so far. The fact-checking site, PolitiFact, giving socialist congressional candidate Alexandria Cortez its worst pants-on-fire rating for making erroneous claims about the good job growth going on. Unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. Unemployment is low because people are working 60, 70, 80 hours a week and can barely feed their kids. Now, Liz Warren basically doubling down on that, saying people are working up to four jobs to survive. When people are working at minimum wage jobs that won't support them or they're working two, three, or four jobs to try to pay the rent and keep food on the table, then simply saying the unemployment figures have gone down just doesn't get you there. Joining me now, Independent Women's Forum visiting fellow Maddie Doppler. Nobody in this country wants people working yeah. three or four minimum wage jobs. By the way, it's great to see you, Maddie. Good but to see you, Liz. Let me back up. They're, the Democrats are now trying to make good news bad. Um, yeah. And by the way, to do the jobless rate, the government does not count you twice if you right. work two jobs. Go ahead, Maddie. Uh, you know, do they not know that there's data available to check up on these claims? Do they not understand the way that all of this data is calculated? I mean, you hit it on the head, Liz. One, that's not how unemployment is counted. Unemployment numbers reflect the share of the population that is working and the share of the population population that isn't. So you're right. This is good news that we have the lowest unemployment numbers uh, these last few months than we've seen in the better part of two decades. Americans should be embracing that no matter what yeah. your political stripes are. Now with the socialist Democrats, <clears throat> it's obvious that for them, that narrative doesn't work. They need Americans to believe things are bad and that things that the economy is doing poorly in order to sell their half-baked economic ideas on what they see for the future of the country. Okay, let's, let's show the viewer the facts. Here's what the fact-checking site PolitiFact is saying, and it's based on government data. Fewer than one in fewer than one in twenty yep. uh, employed Americans hold a second job of any type. So that's six million people out of a one hundred and fifty million yeah. strong workforce. By the way, Maddie, that rate has been that way since two thousand ten. Right, exactly. And it's actually interesting when you look at both uh, the number of people who are holding down one or two jobs, um, but also the number of hours that people are working. Those are things that actually stay pretty static in the economy over the last couple of decades, where we've seen a lot of volatility, obviously, and a lot of these other economic indicators. All right, to the claim from Elizabeth Warren, four jobs. PolitiFact now showing, according to government data, that people who might be working 80 hours a week they're a tiny fraction of the yeah. overall pool of workers, 310,000 people. Uh, and listen, we don't want people working multiple minimum wage jobs. That's not right. the point. But we have up to 7 million job openings where exactly. companies can't find workers. Exactly. I mean, that is the true issue at, uh, for the economy right now. Employers are looking for workers, and really, workers feel very confident in leaving their job and looking for a new one. That is one of the economic data points uh, that employers are really struggling with now, which is how do we hold on to our workers once we've hired them because this labor market is so tight. That's good news for workers. That generally means wages will increase. Uh, that generally means that there will be more competitive uh, opportunities for people who are looking to leave their job and start a new one. And of course, you're right. We don't want people working multiple jobs, but the yeah. fact of the matter is they're not. The economy right now supports that. You know, Maddie, Americans also are not working more today than they have in the recent past. The average number of hours worked, Maddie, in the private sector, yep. it's stuck at around 35 hours a week. That's been going on since 2006. That's a exactly right. historical low. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, look at that. You've got 12, 12 years where that statistic hasn't really budged. So the question then for the people who are arguing that, you know, people are working too many jobs or they can't make ends meet is what is their economic vision for the future? You know, we saw the White House yesterday release an executive order that focused on modernizing our workforce and focusing on the fact that, yes, of course, the labor market is changing. Employers' needs are changing. And we need to make sure that workers are equipped in order to meet those needs. I would argue that the Socialist Democrats, the Elizabeth Warrens of the world, look at the Past and say, well, you know, if everyone just had a government handout, that's the real way to guarantee prosperity moving forward. I think the economic data and what Americans are experiencing right now shows that's just simply not the case. Maddie Duppler, great to have you on. Thank you Thanks so much for coming up. Coming up, the TV fight that is far from settled. Judge Jeanine Pirro kicked off of 18.